All right. Um, so greetings, greetings again. Um, welcome to Military Guna TV. And for first, I want to say there's actually work going on in my neighborhood in the the apartments I live in. I think my neighbors are doing some um some constru construction work. So you might hear a bit of um discrepancies throughout the stream. Hopefully, um it's minimized based on the fact that I'm in an enclosed area. But I have a good one planned for you guys today. Um, I am not sure of the time span that I will spend. Um, you know, I don't like to go the two, the three, and the four hours. Not my thing. But um, welcome to everyone who tunes in. Um, if you are here for the first time, I would advise you to smash that like button. Also, I would also advise you. And then, now, subscribe to the Military Squad, where we are on a journey <clears throat> to build a very fear unbiased and uh, gracious platform that we can discuss football with opinions but also um with um analytical stats to back our opinions so basically we have to come with a bit of facts not just what we believe and think um but so that is the platform that i want to build and that is how i see it fit to grow we are here for truth and honesty and not to deceive anyone <clears throat> so people thank you very much again for tuning in smash that like button and we all are here so um we're going to speak about the strikers now the last video that that i did we spoke about the, the the midfielders now we are going to address the strikers so you know where we turn to next so um for the striking options this time around we have a few players that we'll, we'll speak about we're talking about um jevon he's um blair turgot and also um corey burke there's yes and andre gray my bad also andre gray so there's a few persons that we want to speak with uh about today what this is about this is actually highlighting um the players and uh, what they do they do have to offer to the reggae boys team now this is really really important this is this is the reason why you have a person like me who can analyze each player to give a concise and um analytical update on the particular player now Everyone has an opinion. Now, when you come come across to me with your opinion, ensure that you have facts to back your opinion because I am com coming with straight facts and stats. And these are reliable stats from reliable networks or reliable um, website that can provide these um, statistical elements of everyone game. I know it's a, a bit early in the morning. Hopefully, you guys are good. It's, a, it's Saturday. Um, the time differential, you, you might have people in the even hours, but the time differential is quite different. So um, we're going to go through some of the players. One by one, we're going to look at the players. Um, thank to everyone who's coming in. Um, Profound Ministries, big up. Thank you, Profound Ministries. Um, <laughs> greetings, military. I'm here waiting. Thank you for coming in, Profound Ministries. Barnett, big up, bro. Thank you for coming on as well. And Marlon, big up. Big up, Marlon. <clears throat> And Stephen, big up as well, Stephen. Um, <laughs> yes, Stephen. Um, the thing about stats is that despite stats can be contrary, but at the end of the day, it's factual. You can't beat it because it's factual. Um, someone says they you you do an interview, all right. So for a player, a player could say that he could have scored 20 goals. And when you check when you check when you check it in, in real life time, um, in real time, he scored like 12 goals. But we did that doesn't dispute that he could have scored eight more, eight more, but at the end of the day, he scored 12. Just as those um facts is when we got beaten 4-1 against the USA, that is a fact. And the stats show that we got beaten. The stats show that we conceded four goals, and the stats show that we scored one goal. No, the, the, the opinion is this: that the game is not a 4-1 game. That is the opinion. So, but that's not that's not a fact. That's that's the opinion. It's not a four-one game. It's like a two-two game based off the amount of chance we created. But the fact is, which is statistically proven, the game finished four goals to one. So, um, thank you very much for everyone who's coming in, Tevin. IMAX, I, IMAX, I swear you said you were going to bed. <laughs> you don't rest. <laughs> you don't rest at all, right? Um, Joshua Kid, big up Joshua Kid. Um, so everyone who's coming in. So we want to move on to the first player that we... Oh, sorry about that, people. We'll move on to the first player. And remember, guys, just smash the like button as you guys come in. Just smash that like button as you guys come in. 
So the first the first striker we're going to start on is actually um Blair. The first player that we we we, we, are, we are going to address for a lot of reasons because he's typically this is his debut. So he's a debutant. Nothing's wrong with us analyzing a debutant. And it is it's, 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 it is crucial that we know the players that are coming into the team, what what their career is like, and uh, how and what what really um merits them getting called to come and play for the regular boys. It is really really crucial. So Blair Turgot is the first player that we'll be looking at. Big up Vincent for coming in. A lot of respect. Thank you for coming in. So Blair Turga people is the first player that we'll be analyzing. Um, that is ready. As you guys can see, is it's his age 27 years old, height 1.83 meters, well 183 centimeters, relatively good height, I would have to say. Relatively good height. But um for a 27-year-old just getting a Cena call up, yeah, I know a lot of players um, um choose choose their time period, but um it's like this player was literally hiding, <laughs> hiding away. <laughs> but um right foot strengths, no outstanding strengths. Um position forward. You, you can see that based off his heat map, he really is a roaming um type of striker. Um yes, stacking stats is actually 64, that's quite low. That is significantly low for his attacking stats. Um, I think we could have done better. For so for his last five um five games, um so far score rating 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, 6.3. And 7.1. But people, we need to get a better understanding of who these players are and uh, what they will bring to what we have. Um, Marlon said, Congratulations to Pinock, Tony, Rico, and for making it into the championship playoffs. Congratulations um, to the Brentford team as well. Um, they did, uh, it was a very good, it was an entertaining game. Um, first half, Really, really sketchy first half, even for Ethan Pinock. Very, very sketchy <laughs> first half. Um, but he grew into the game in the second half, and um, the performance really um, announced. Um, Raynell Kutel, Wagwan fam. What's up, Raynell? Um, big up, bro. A lot of respect. Thank you for, for coming in. Joshua Kid said, um, no disrespect, but we went from the reggae boys to the reggae bums <laughs> real quick. Ah, <laughs> Let's see. Um... So Tevin, Tevin said Blair used to play for West Ham. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we're going to go through those things. Um, we're going to go through those things. Um, so as you guys can see, um, let's look at his track record, like transfers, something that we have to look at as well. Because the reason why we have to go so in depth with this player is because um we don't know much about him. We have to be honest that we don't know much about him. Since he got the call up, that's actually the first I went back and watched a few games with him. Because honestly, I never knew nothing about him. But when he got the call up, that's when I actually went back and watched a few games. Um, Jero said, big up. Um, so let's look at this transfer record. Let's look at, um, um, you can see, phew, Started off at West Ham under 23 and under 18 team. Uh, moved on to Brentford, Bradford City, my bad. Then he moves to the under 23 sis, um, system again. Then move on on a loan to Colchester United. Then back to uni, um, um, the under 23 system in, in 24, that is West Ham. Then he, loans out, he was loaned out to Rottenham United in 2014. End of loan again in um, 2014. So he was on a lot of loan moves. Um, to Degenham and Ridgebridge, um, Redbridge, my bad, Coventry City. So when, when he officially made his move and went to Coventry City on a free, then moved from that to Lorient Orient um, in the Liga, Liga um, on a free as well, then to Bromley on a free, um, Seven Edge also on a free, and Boreham Hood on loan. Back to Seven Edge, then Boreham Hood again on, on loan, and then now he moves to Mid Midstone United on loan. End of loan. Went to Boram Hood again, and now he made a free move to Utsersen in the Swedish league. So he's now currently under Utsersen. We can also 
um, possibly have a look at in his previous seasons how well he stacks up about a lot of things because he's a player um, that, as I said, a lot of us don't know much about him. So I am I'm actually enlightening you guys about the player, um, Blair Turgot. And if you guys haven't watched him before, you guys should go and watch him. Um, um, notable, um, notable things that I've seen on him, um, Pacey, um, Pacey, electric fine as well. Um, he's not the most clinical. He's not the most clinical. He has to get quite a few opportunities to hit the back of the net. Um, so, well, not much of a kind of a physical presence has a height, but not the, the, the body, body structure. But is one to say, um, Lindell Ellis, big up, just tuning in. Um, big up as well, Maya, for coming in as well. Um, thank you. So, let's look at his goal scoring ratio because, as you know, he's a striker, we have to respect that. Let's look at his last, um, his, his record now. This is this, this is this season record. We're going to have a look at it. Um, as you guys can see from the heat map, his heaviest touches are actually at the center circle. So this is telling me that he's a low-touch player. And uh, a low-touch player means that uh, they do well in a defensive setup. A low-touch player do well in a defensive setup. Um, catch you on the counter. But we'll see how, how, how much touches he get per game. So he played a total of seven games this season. He started all, se all seven. He completed 88 minutes out of those. And featured in Team of the Week once. So in seven games, he has four goals. His scoring frequency is 155 minutes. So that's a game and a half per goal. Uh, that's 90 minutes and a half per goal. Um, goals per game, yeah, that's 0 0.6, literally a half. Because of the seven, if it was eight, it would actually be a half, um, 0 0.5. Um, shots per game, 1.7. I think that is something he has to work on. Um, big up, Davian McClary. Thank you for coming in as well. Shots per, 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 per half. I think that's, that's something that he can work on. But um, he's a low-touch player, as you guys can see. Uh, passing stats, not the best. Accurate pass per game, 66. Big chance created, just one. Um, he averages 24.6 touches per 90, which is relatively low. And at this point in time, people, he's actually playing right now as we speak. Let me see if I could... Um, let me see if I could bring that game up. Let me see if he starts. He's playing right at this moment as we speak. So, and so fortunately, he's, he's a player that we're covering. And he's playing. So you guys can actually go and check that game. So he's playing a 4 4 2. He's playing a 4 4 2 people. So he's playing right now, people. Um, Yank Niguna, big up, bro. He's actually playing right at this moment. Let me bring up the. So as you guys can see, he's playing a 4 4 2 formation. I'm currently ranking at um 6.6. .6. He's on a yellow card, actually. He's actually on a yellow card. So that's that's um that's it for um Blair Turgot. He's he's one of those players that we can say um what what he would offer is most likely a a counteracting a counteract um counter attacking football um system. And uh, you know that it's something that um Mr. Whitmore himself like to use contract um, attacking system. He he, he don't like to. He, he's not the type of coach that coaches team with the ball, and that's something that I don't like as well. That's something that I personally don't like. No, um, we're going to move on to the next um player, which is actually Cole Burke. Um, playing in the MLS for the. Playing in the MLS for the, 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 the Philadelphia Union. Um, doing great stuff right now. We have to say, doing great, great stuff right now with um, the, the, the man himself, Andre Blake. We're going to have a look at Corey Burke. So guys, if you want to see um, 
Blair Turgut in, in top performance. You can go and watch him right now because he's currently playing a game. So if you want to see that, you can go and check it out. Um, you can go, you can use the link he scored.com. You can use the, the site he scored.com. That's where he scores. That's that's that that's where you can watch most of the games. Um Demar Demar said Brentford pulls through Guna and waiting for Jamal Lowe. No. Exactly. Yeah. And it was a good game, a quite an entertaining game. Big up Ian for coming in. So the next player we'll be looking at is um Corey Burke. Um, as you guys can see, Corey Burke, um, a high touch player. Look at his map, his heat map. And you will have a, have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Um, so, Corey Burke, 29 years old, 191 centimeter, a physical specimen. Specimen, you're looking at a player like six foot two, six foot three. Really, really tall. Maybe taller than that as well, but we'll see. Um, now, played a total of five games, start three of those, and completing 59 minutes per 90. And Maybe you could say that he's not the most favorable striker out of the lot. Maybe we could say that he's not the most favorable striker. Um, um, Kwani Abeng, no, Abendigo said, um, counter attacking football won't take Jamaica anywhere. And it's time for all you panelists to speak the truth and stop defending Whitmore and the JFF. Um, I'm telling you that I did say that, um, that I don't like it. I did say that I don't like it. That, that won't take us anywhere. I have to be honest. And if you, um, I'm Kwani, if you, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly, I'll just, maybe I'll just say Aben, Abendigo. Abendigo, if you should watch my, my podcast more so often, you'd realize that I am one of the persons who speak mostly about um, position-based football and how crucial it is. Because the world we're living in right now, especially in football, it is going to a position-based, it's going to a position-based um, footballing system. And that is the, and that is the rest. So if you shouldn't, if you should have seen most of my podcasts, you would realize that um, I'm not one that different with more. You can go and check my, my 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 analytical video that I did. You can go and check that. And big up, big up Delana De for coming in. Um, Davian said, when Kemar Roof are gonna come into Jamaica, we're not sure. I do know that. Um, according to all the footballing networks and websites, Kemar Roof is registered as Jamaican. Networks, all the footballing sites, websites, Kemar Roof is registered as Jamaican. So, what is that? What's that telling me is that his, his paperwork are sorted. That is what it's telling me. So, if anyone thinks I'm wrong. You can go, you can definitely go and check it for yourself. Um, you can go sofa score, um, transfer market, um, player analytics, um, player stats, um, player profile, 365, total um total sport tech, all of these football insights. You can go there and check out Kemar Roof, and you'll see that he is he is registered as Jamaican. Do not use Wikipedia because Wikipedia. Wikipedia um, can be edited by anyone. So don't use Wikipedia as a reference. Wikipedia, he has a stack of information, but it can be edited by anyone. I can go on Wikipedia and edit, edit a profile right now. So go on the credible sites, um, the goal.com. Um, um, you, you also have aterstv.com. Um, you have a lot of credible um, sites out there to check it out. So I must said I got the required rest. <laughs> um have other duties aside from YouTube. Okay, bro. Um got to get them done. Big up. Um photos for Jamaica said big up our broski. Um yeah. <laughs> um hit the like button, people smash that like button as photos for Jamaica say. Um I would really appreciate it. So we're we're, we're not on Korberg. Um for so this season, Korberg, for me, I think he should be scoring quite a few more. I think he should be scoring more because um as a striker, this is where you stand out, and especially. But the last game that he played, he did score. Um, so let's look at his last form. He played in the Champions League, Concacaf Champions League. He scored. He had, he had an assist. Um, in the MLS, now his last two games, he scored. Last three games, he scored two goals. So 
he's in good form in the MLS right now, pick up good form. Um, previous at the uh, beginning of this season, he didn't score like in the first four games, he only scored one, or uh, maybe four five games, he only scored um, um, three, but that's um, from last year. But remember now, the MLS um, break into two batches. I don't know why did um, MLS do, um, do their system like that, it's quite weird. So, played five games, started three of that, um, 59 minutes per game, scored two goals, scoring frequency is 140 minutes. As I said, that's basically a goal every every one and a half game typically but that is relatively low passing he averages 31.6 touches that's that's relatively high touch player but his passing stats are not the best we can give and take because he's a striker and he's in the attacking third so we can look at it and say that because he's in the attacking third my body the mic um went down low because he's in, in the attacking third, the passes that everyone is expecting will not would most likely to be the final passes. Would more likely to be the final passes. Um, Shevan Given said Whitmore is a, <laughs> a crappy mentality. Um, crappy is mentality weaker than the yardman baller's mentality. Regular boys have a, has a mentality issue, something like Ravel. No, um, Givens. I would really advise you to enlighten uh, me on the, the mentality that you speak about. Because I've spoken about mentality, but I do have um, stats to back that. I do have things to, 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 to bring across my um, um, to bring across my point. Um, Quan, Quan, um, Abendigo said, I was listening to Andre Blake's um, interview with Ryan LFC yesterday. And based on what he was saying, it seems like he's not with the English base players and uh, if if that is so if he's saying something down that line uh, that would come right back to what um that will go right back to exactly to what um um Givens is saying about the mentality we don't have the right winning mentality to take us to the next level um how strong is the team aside from the attackers how strong is the team aside from the attackers um <laughs> uh, it's a poor team it would be really really poor is it, the attacking strength is what actually give us the bolster Delano said I agree with you um, Abengdigo Lyndon said we shouldn't have had, have counter attacking as a playing style yeah that's not a play well that's not the right way to approach football um, each game should be played on merit depending on the opponent possession is the key that is true <laughs> <laughs> Just I said, um, as a wet paper, easily I'm torn apart, right? Ooh. <laughs> so um, that's it for Korberg. Um, not the best stats, not the best stats. So we're going to move on to the the next player that we want to speak about, and is a player that I see a lot of people speaking about. Most notable. Um, platforms, um, Shamar Nicholson. So people are voting for Shamar Nicholson that he must be in the starting lineup, be a part of the attacking um, threat. Let's see what Shamar Nicholson has to offer. Um, but we don't know what Korberg has to offer physicality, fighting, grit, um, tenacity, intensity. No, we want to see what. Um, Shamar Nicholson himself has to offer and it is important that we check out these things people because it makes no sense we hype up the players and say that the players are going to do that and when it really comes on to the level um, we don't see it and then now we are hyping up our local players and I don't tool in on the, the abroad the players that are playing abroad as I said, I, I am continuously going to say, I've heard interviews with players playing abroad, speaking about how crucially and critically important it is to play overseas. It is really, really important. Let me... All right, so you we, ha we have on the screen now, people, 
um, Shaman Nicholson, um, 1.92 centimeters tall. That's a physical specimen. Normally, defenders are that height. Um, age 24. He's a little striker. I have to be fair. He's a little striker. His attacking potency is 62. No outstanding strengths. Um, weakness, ball control. No, this is something that uh, I'm seeing with right across the Jamaican um, strikers. Mostly, most notably the Jamaican players. Why is it that their weakness is always control? We lack technical ability. We really do lack technical ability, and that is something that we have to work on. We have to work on that, people, because um, in the world of football, right, ball control is so crucially important. Oh, my bad. Ah, my bad. Sorry about that, people. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, my bad. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was actually looking at stats, people. My bad. Um, I re I just realized that. Um, so I turned it on really, really low. So um, yeah, let's let us let us go let's go back onto onto it again. Um. <laughs> I was I was like he was gone for like a minute. <laughs> that was my bad. Um I I take control of that one. Let me run through some of the chat because everyone is saying no audio. Um Jamaica really needs a roof even more than Antonio. Uh, as we require a clinical striker. It's yes, it is important that we get a clinical striker. Um Um, but not just them, but the people that worship them. Oh, they are talking about actually <laughs> the, the players who overhype in the players. Yeah, and for the last minute or so, the sound has been gone, and people are actually yeah. Big up Theo Nero as well. Um, Given said, um, top of for example, with all the, those players, the Premier League players such as Kyle Walker Peters, James Justin. Um, Lewis Baker, Nathan Redman, Johnson Clark, or um, Theodore ignore all that about him. I build a team, yeah, that's what he's saying that he's building a team, and none of those core players are actually playing at an elite level. So, how can you be building a team and none of the members of that team are playing at an elite level? I don't, I, I, I don't understand it. Um, So um, what we say, Shaman Nicholson, um, he scores long range goals. So I think that's something that we could think about. Um, his physical presence, hold up play, he's a high touch player. Um, it, it he has fairly good passing stats. Um, accurate pass per game, um, sixty two percent, which I think he can get better accurate pass in his own half, eighty two percent. I think these are some things that the the, the guys can really really work on. Um, I think I definitely think so. I think so. And people are actually agreeing that Blake sounds as if he don't want the the, the English based players. Pretty much disappointed if that's the case. 
um, if that is the case, people, I am really, really dis dis disappointed if that is the case. Um, so we're going to go look at the next player, people, um, Javon East. The next player we'll be looking at, people, is actually Javon East. Let's see what Javon East. Um, he's playing at Santos de Gual um, Guapes. Um, it's Spanish, so the L is silent. <laughs> so, so Javon is the next player that we'll be looking at, people. Um, you have a lot of people stopping Jamaica from flourishing um, due to greed. Hmm, that's true. Theodore Whitmore is not a scout. He's a coach. He has to work with what they give him. Why y'all beating him so bad? He's been doing good so far. Um, so, Theonira, my question to you is, is doing good enough? Because when we look at, we're going to play two friendlies, right? And those two friendlies that we're going to play, our team is, typ is typically outclass talent-wise. So, are we, is Theodore Whitmore good enough to use the players that we have to get the job done? Remember, no, no, we have a golden generation. We have to qualify for the World Cup with this golden generation. Um, it can't be um, it can't be hidden anymore. Blake, Taxi, Low, and the rest must realize Jamaica football bigger than them. If so, fling them away <laughs> and get some man where I'm um, value the football. <laughs> Jeros, <laughs> uh, um, remember the first final that we went to the first Gold Cup final. Most of those players were MLS players in that squad. We had a few British players, so don't know. What you guys are talk about, talking about. All right, so Theonero, our first Gold Cup final we went to, we had a few MLS players. What if we had an influx of better quality players playing in Europe? Maybe we could have won the game. You know the problem? My art, right, listen to this, what I'm talking about. USA, you know what? When when I finish run through all the players, we're going we're going to have a discussion on that because the USA is not using any USL players. They are not calling the USL players, but we are calling the USL players to represent for us. USA are calling players playing in Europe. That's what USA is doing, and we are talking about players playing in the USL to come and play for us. While the, the, the US, USA themselves not using the USL players. Why, 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 why aren't USA using the USL players? If they are so good as what we are saying, if we want to use the MLS players. Um, let me run through um, Javon East. Well, so Javon East um, in his last, let me run through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it 10? I think this is 10. So in his last 10 games, um, Jevon Heath has, has actually scored five goals in his last 10 games. Um, one thing I do know, Jevon Heath is actually a bully. I think Jevon Heath is a physical specimen. He provides a, a, a level of intensity and aggression, something that we might see from um, a Mikel Antonio. I think that is something that we might see from Mikel Antonio. The, the bullish mentality, the, 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 the aggressive mentality, the, the, the tenacity. I think Jevon Heath, that's what Jevon Heath offers to us. He offers that goal scoring threat, um, someone who is definitely um, arguable. Arguable, um, someone that we can say he, he, he fits the CONCACAF mold, the CONCACAF system or style of play. So that's the reason why um, Jevon East, looking into Jevon East, I think based off his goal scoring um, form right now, he's someone that we can look at and say they do provide, so he do provide something for us. And then now we can actually look at the, the, the fact that the 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 the, 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 the
the league that he's in, his league is also another physical league. And we can also take it that the, 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 it's a bit better than the USL. We can look at it that it's a bit better than the USL. We can look at it in that way. Um, so we have um, JD joining us, people, to dissect a few of the, the, the talking points that we, we ran through earlier. And what's up, bro? How are you, bro? Yes, I'm here, man. I'm here. You said earlier that you thought that I was actually asleep. I did got like a hour sleep, um, different from my normal sleeping time. So mm -hmm. I think that's enough because um, I went on the road to get something for my kid due to the fact that she did well um, in school mm -hmm. with the coronavirus and everything. Yeah, so you know you have to do yeah. those duties. <laughs> that, that, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yes. That's, that's really, really nice. So um, actually, I'm just moving off from the bad east, actually moving on to the final striker because I'm doing it from the shortlist, not the pool. I'm doing it from the mm -hmm. shortlist because um, when I chat back and I look, at, I, I rewatch the, the video about the pool, I realized that we went um, really vastly um, out into imaginary land to players that still unlikely and, and are sure of that they might come yeah. in. So we want to say in the realm of reality where these are the players that we have and these are the players that we will be working with. Yeah. So that's, that's the reason why I choose to stick around to the players that we already have. No, since you're here, you can help me. Um, we can you move on to the final player, which is actually Andre Gray. Um, he's the player that I believe that for us for this um duration, he'll be the one leading men. Purely of the fact that um we are not going to be a possession-based team. We have been a possession-based team, as someone highlighted earlier in the chat. And I think that's one of the reasons why we are struggling. I think that's one of the reasons why we are struggling because the world of football is going position you keep position you hurt the opponent you keep mm -hmm. position you hurt the opponent you you allow them to be fatigued when they're fatigued in the 60 70 minutes you break them down quite easily especially when you integrate fresh legs so um what's your take on andre gray season um you know we already know that he helps his team qualify to move into the the, the premier league what's your take on his season and what do you think um andre gray would offer the the reggae boys team um, the first thing we have to um, um, start with is based off his experience. Mm -hmm. Is know how to get himself um, and other people into play is very much vital. I think none of the other guys that's in in the entire pool will have something mm -hmm. like that. So um, you have to give him respect. He's 29 years old. Um, so he's at the prime age of his career. Yes, mm -hmm. you do have some smart strikers the way they do play because he's a guy that linked plays and um finish at mm -hmm. times but he's not the individuals that you will call upon to get um 30 goals a season i think you will you get him with in around 15 and um a 15 as assists on his best time not saying he had those records but that's the type of striker you can get out of him so um he's very much needed man and very much important because i think it's a lot of thing around this team you know and mm -hmm. any type of intelligency you can get from a player um will definitely help this team going forward big time that's what i would say and he mm -hmm. possesses a lot of those um features that we do need but this season he played about 30 games um score five and one assist if you look at his um, minutes per game it's 30 minutes and an average and yeah. an average and so he still put out yeah, good so enough low. performances mm -hmm. it, 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 so maybe it did, he's coming in to close off games and those type of things. Yes, so that means his IQ and his importance and his intelligence to get into games really good. It's mm -hmm. really good. So he can fit in yeah. very fast. So imagine if you have him in from the start, he's going to be effective. You get me? But yeah. you don't, you should not always expect um, goals directly from him. You just get mm -hmm. contributions from him. Yeah. And you need those I'll, players. So as we see from his first um, appearance for us, where he, he assisted the Jamal o goal. One time touch, yes, hold up yes. play. Sim and, and, Thank and you very much. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's the type of player he is, you know, and that's something completely different. It, it comes from mm -hmm. being um, a, a student of football rather than an individual that come around and due to the fact that you need football to help you live and survive with your family and stuff. These guys are professional footballers, and that's where I draw the line with with footballers that have in good talent. 
from pe- players that's coming from a school in a football and want to do this thing. That's why they have treats to them. And I think his older play is a good strength. His movements is a, is a good strength. And his actual um, positioning at, at time, at key moments, is always vital. So I think yeah. he would be the main striker if you don't have Kemar Roof or Antonio coming in. And it's not even close just by what he offers because he's bringing it the team. And what you said early on, you said um, you think this team won't have the ball. So mm-hmm. he's more even vital. If you won't have the ball, because he can find those spaces that will definitely help you to flourish off just off less positioning. You get me? Because he's good at yeah. positioning himself and get the link play going. So you need those guys more than anything else. Yeah, I do agree. And the reason why I think he'll be the one leading line, we're talking about a Premier League proven a Premier League proven striker. We have to pay respect to that. No, um, other than that. His technical ability would be actually, or he, he, I think he would be one of the most technical players in the team. I think he would be one of the most technical players in the team. Um, but I do see him leading line because of two things. First thing, we'll be playing counter-attacking football. And we'll need that striker who can hold up the play to allow the, 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 the winners to, to, to move, uh, to go in beyond and uh, in behind him. And he can play those through balls in. So that's the first thing. Second thing, I think that he's the most um, prolific striker, also the higher pedigree striker of the, 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 the short list that we have. So those are the two reasons why I believe he will play. Now, um, we're, we're literally closing off all the, the players. We're going to run through some of the comments because I didn't, I didn't plan a long show this morning because, um, you know, wife has to on the road and <laughs> I don't want to disturb the shopping time. <laughs> Because that's her time. <laughs> All right, so let me run through some of the comments. So, to the interview, and Blake so like he didn't want it, the English player, um, English um players around. And he's, Ian also said, so did the oath. <laughs> What's your take on that? Um, that's what I've said before. I've said to you guys mm-hmm. that um, remember, Ian, I I'm glad that you are you say saying that. Remember, mm-hmm. two months ago, I came in the, into this category and I said I saw, clearly saw that you, people here with narratives because when I looked at it, mm-hmm. it's like you're trying to protect a certain people and you don't want to bring out the overall news. That's yeah. exactly what I've meant because I've noticed things. And they said, oh, you're just capping because you, you this and you that. But it's just because I'm a little bit, be honest, I'm a little bit more straightforward and I, I might be a little bit more intelligent to pick up things from way 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 long so it takes a, people a longer time or maybe because people believe in other people that's why it takes them so longer to understand where i was actually coming from and that's the mm-hmm. things that's causing the jamaica team a lot of problems because people don't know the power of social media you understand me the reason why most of these players need you to sell their narratives is because they have a bigger agenda tied to the narrative and you are helping them to cause the jamaican team arm and that's why i was here but people didn't know that i'm the one actually trying to fight against that problematic situation because mm-hmm. people trying to set the, set me up in a bad light to believe to let people believe that i am the one trying to fight against the local players playing overseas no i saw that they have a narrative and the narrative is they should get enough to keep themselves afloat and they will give one and two people in the know or people in the spotlight that can influence thing i interview our little money to 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 force that narrative going and you mm-hmm. as the viewer actually help it and don't even know that you're arming the jamaican team but you're not looking at exactly. it far than just the screen but it's bigger than that and believe me, your actions really influence the outcome of mm-hmm. the Jamaican selection and the actual um, performance of the, the Jamaican selection because you need the best players. And if you follow mm-hmm. these narratives, you're not going to get it. You won't. And that's right. what I was telling you two months ago. Look at this now. Theo Nero said, remember the first final that we went to um, in the goal? Most of the players were MLS um, players in the squad. And we had a few British players, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. What if in that final, 
we had more quality players in that team, we would have definitely brought it, go over, went it, um, bring it over the line. We'd have obviously bring it over the line because more we have more quality in the team. No, look at this. We're going to play against USA. You have better players than what we have in the USL that are from the USA. The USA team is not calling these players. But yet still, we are voting for our players in the USL to play. People, feel, people believe there's a, a narrative that we don't like the, the Jamaican-based players or we don't want to see the Jamaican progress. But we have to accept this. Now, bear this in mind. What a lot of you guys are not realizing that in this world of football, what is happening right now in this world we cannot protect bit more and say that he's going he's doing a great job with what he have in which he should be doing better you can't be using uh, the, the 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 base of our argument to be what they did two years ago in gold cup and didn't win it that is not good enough yeah but, if we um, should say if we should use a base we should say okay let's replicate what we did in the 1998 world cup what went right but, but what Guna went right is, that allow us Guna, to progress? Guna don't want to take over a show, but Tia Nero is <laughs> he's, he's thinking that others are a little bit slightly on the British side, mm -hmm. but you are slightly on the overpraising of um the MLS and the local players. So, really mm -hmm. and truly, if you stick on the facts to facts, you're going to select the UK based players above everyone, and that's just the facts. So, if you don't mm -hmm. want to be honest. You better you don't don't need to cost people that's being honest. You get me? Because mm -hmm. it, people having the facts to prove, and you do can use football facts to actually differentiate mm -hmm. differentiate who is doing better. Because the higher competition and yeah. playing higher is just the facts, Tia Nero. So it doesn't matter what you said. The MLS, the British players will do better in the Kanka Cup, in the Alpha Cup or Quarter Cup. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what you said. They are better footballers. That's why they get more money. And people that knows football more than you, select them and give them more money. If the USL players or the MSL players, uh, the MLS players were better, they would have gotten more money. You need to stop with this narrative, Tio. I respect you, but it's not true. It's just not true. And that's the reality. Look at this now. Demar Demar said he watched the interview and he did not get that from the interview. So, Demar, things won't be obvious. Things won't be obvious. Just listen to, watch, but look at body react, look at body reaction and look at how words are twisted and you'll get a better understanding. Um, Jero said, um, these are, these are looking. All right. So, let me show you something now. Let me, this, let me use this, this as an example. Um, Jerry East deserves a look, look in. No, we are going to play Serbia um, sometime next month. I, I, I don't remember the exact date, but we're going to be playing Serbia. Leading the line for Serbia, strike force, is Dusan Tadic. Dusan Tadic, playing at Ajax, one of the leading goal scorers in world football right now. You, Dusan Tadic. Dusan no, Tadic. You, not, and we're talking you. about we're talking about um Jevon East. We're talking about Jevon East. I'm not saying that he's a bad player, but we're talking about quality wise. This is this is this is the quality. This is the base. Tadish is way above. Tadish is scoring in Champions League semi-finals. Tadish is scoring in the European European League finals. Tadish is scoring winning goals and 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 and, and big stage. Tadish is lifting um the Eredivisie trophy. Captain in the the, 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 the the Ajax team. That is the level that we're talking about. You know what I can't understand, um, military, mm -hmm. be honest. Mm -hmm. Why is it um if Jamaicans uh, can't complete something, it's always a mm -hmm. crybaby mentality? Because Tio Nero here talking about um because of um they were born in a location. Tio Nero, believe me, you need to fix your mentality, man. I'm telling you straight. You know I'm a straightforward person. That is the mentality of most Jamaicans. That's why we are limited and thinking in our head that we are superior. But believe me, the world is superior based on the, they, they don't have any filter that blocks them. You have Americans doing well abroad. Don't tell me that because they are Americans. You're going to find something else. You have Navas doing well. He's still in the Kankakov. 
You have um you you have where, where again playing left back for, for, for Bayern Munich, he's still doing well. Oh, you're gonna blame it because it's Canada. Okay, so then mm -hmm. why? What Jamaica, you tell me that people tell me that Jamaica is the greatest place. So why is it when it comes on to performance, it has to sell a narrative? You are bigger narrative theory. I'm telling you straight. I'm telling you. Uh, anytime I get to do a show with you, I will tell you just the same. You're big on narrative and you guys don't know how much you influence other people in the comment section and in Jamaica as well to sell the wrong message. Believe me, you have to be careful mm -hmm. what you talk on the internet, man. Be believe me, man. It has nothing even... You, you, you said about what you were talking about with, 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 with um Martin Davis. You know what Martin mm -hmm. Davis said? Please, all of you guys, go to Europe. Because it's the culture all in your back. I've been saying that two and a half months and everyone thinks that I'm an idiot. Well, see a guy that was born in Jamaica, went over there and had to work hard. That's why, that's the difference. Most of the guys that you're trying to protect, they won't want, they mm -hmm. don't want to work hard. They don't want to take on challenge. They don't want to learn yeah. other languages. They don't want to be culturized. They, they don't want to, want to be culturized. That is the truth. Tianero. So believe me, man, just wake up, man. It's sometimes because I don't want to even talk. Because you got you, Tianero, might spin it and said, maybe I eat Jamaica. That's the whole problem. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda Ellis said, man. Um, nothing wrong with the, the with good. In 1998, we tried a lot of them, but ended with um, seven at the World Cup. We, we entered the World Cup. That is the important thing. Give them a chance. Certainly, it will make uh, um, not come to end. Um, JD kind of froze right there. Um, let me run through some more comments. Oh, he's back. He's back now. I didn't know what happened. Sorry about that, but yeah, you, uh, my you, you froze, internet yeah, was strong. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you froze a bit. I understand that, bro. But all I'm saying is they're acting is that they're acting like um we're hopeless if these big big names players don't call got the support our players we got to support our play or our guys still got support could push a team look um look at Greece um so <clears throat> we're not saying we're, we're not supporting the players no we're just um debating that the narrative we're talking about the narrative that is going around that is that what we're trying to pull up. We're trying to pull down the narrative. The bad narrative that we are trying to, to go down. Um, Given said, USA do use MLS player. Why would USA use USL baller? They got um, very good players in Europe. The USA got um, option. They have to go use USL if we not get um, England ballers. Which we say that it is crucial and critical that we push our made extra effort to get the, the, the European players. That is what I'm saying. And if players and panelists are bringing across a narrative that we can get it done without the European players, that is where we are deluded as a fan base. And not as a, as a fan base, as, an, as the players represent the nation. So basically, they're, they're making the entire nation look deluded. Um, Big Fox, my, uh, my friend, they're acting like the Jamaican system is better than the American system. They're better than us. A full MLS squad could win the Gold Cup easily. <laughs> and that is MLS. And we have a... Um, give, I'm okay with man like Peter Lee Vassal getting a place in the squad despite him being without a club for a while. Work rate is what a beat Vassal. Um, but we, got, we don't know what he has to offer and it's good. Um, if, if he's not at a club... What does he have to offer? If he has nothing to offer a club, what does he have to offer the, the national team? That is the narrative that we're talking about. Given that is the exact narrative that we are trying to beat out. He does not have something to offer to a club. Why do you believe he has something to offer to a nation? We're, we're trying to get rid of that narrative. Um, um, Jero said, by the way, how have we not heard about JFF sponsors for the Gold Cup? How hard it can be sponsors for a team who went to two finals in the last three Gold Cups. Ooh, that's, a, that's a good cause. I'm not sure what JFF is doing in regards to the sponsorship. I, I assume that they have nothing to sell. When, when, if we should bring in more um, players from Europe, I'm quite sure that sponsorship will be willing to dive on that because their, their brand will be in Europe. If you have a lot of local-based 
bass players, um, Peter Lee Vassell, not playing at a club. Um, well, I think Vass Peter Lee Vassell is at Indy 11. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's Vassell, yeah. Um, Ravel, um, Kevin. When you bring these guys to, do you think sponsorship are going to take up? Because it's one, that's all in Jamaica. That's not going to happen. They're already running Jamaica. When, when the likes of Leon Bailey is on there, is on Mikhail Antonio, um, Louis Baker, Isaac Aiden, Nathan Redmond is on their card. They, they are seeing an output. They're seeing, they're, they're, they're potentially seeing returns. So I think that is what the sponsorship are looking at. Um, I don't understand why this coach and administration are hell boned and not making any progress in Jamaican football. Bro, too much excuses. Yeah, too, and, and we as fans are a part of it as well. The players. See, does it um look at this now? Peter Lee Vassal is playing against players from all over the world, from Europe, South America, Africa, even though he's playing in the USL. Yeah. And that is in the USL. <laughs> that is in the USL. Um Joshua Kid said, big up the U um JD and military. He's still not looking at it that Andre Gray experience will benefit us a lot. He's a leader on and off the pitch. Um Jero said, Fox JD, players in his interview how many um local players are in the squad i was with him until that i was with him until that so um that sound like a a, a con man move <laughs> um, um the, the, the problem is in uh, our military it's just because um people mm -hmm. listen they listen to one-liners they don't mm -hmm. think for themselves and if you come and and object to anything what someone said, you're an eater. All you're trying to do is dissect things. If they can't speak good enough to actually mean what they say, because they're going to say, mm -hmm. when you come and actually formulate what they said, they're going to say they didn't mean that. How can they have the mental edge as a footballer if they aren't, aren't good mm -hmm. in comprehension skills? You, you, you get what I'm saying now? <laughs> if you can't say yeah. what you mean, and then when people repeat what you said, you're going to tell them that, oh, you are you're sending the wrong message when you repeat word for word what they said. That means they're literally not good in the mental side, Tia Nero. And that's why you need players that was trained and evolved with every side of the football. You're going to get better out of them. And that's why I like to support mm. teams that actually respect people that are better. They can see it that they are better and the others have to work in order to improve simple that's how life goes i don't know if it goes different when you're a jamaican but i am a jamaican and i don't see it different but i guess a lot of people see it different simple mm -hmm. um guna and jd me want to listen to the interview and see if you get the vibes from blake so i don't know what other people are hearing Maybe you're not reading it between the line them are them are. Remember, you no, know, when um when when the influx of players are coming in, you no, know, Andre about commitment. That is the first for it red flag for me. That was the first red flag for me. I re I respect Andre Blake. I love the work that he's doing, but for me that was a red flag. Uh, yes, military. If we had a better team, we would have won. But we cannot be focusing on the guys that are not coming to the national team and downgrading the players that are us MLS, MLS are um what what's a or BRI? I'm not sure what that is. But listen, 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 Theo. Um, we're not oh British. Okay, we're not downgrading the players, all right? But look at this. The pool. We have a big, big pool. We have to respect the pool. We have to go out in that pool and try to seek the best talent in that pool. And it is important to pick talent in that pool. Now, it boils down now, not only to players, but if players give across the narrative that they can get the job done, I think the coaching staff are going to believe that they, he, he, the job can be done as well without the influx of the, 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 the new European players. But we're yeah, not talking about... Um, I think we, the word we're using when you say foreign players, I think that's the problem, are overseas players. We're talking about players, European players, a higher pedigree. Players playing in Europe. Use it as that. Players playing in Europe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is that. Come on. 
Oh, you're telling me that. Let, let's let's be factual. You're telling me that um, Nathan Redman can possibly play for the, the reggae boys. We should forget about Nathan Redman and don't care about Nathan Redman and pursue Peter Levasso. Yeah, but military, military. Yeah. Nathan Redman came out and said he's waiting on someone to contact him. So it's not, mm -hmm. it's not like they, we are running down these players. These players want to come, mm -hmm. but sometimes it doesn't even look like they themselves want them to be here. Because if mm -hmm. a guy like that came out and said he wants to play, and we're not asking, we heard it from him. Mm -hmm. Why are you not trying to break your neck to get him here? So I think um, Tionieri need to fix the narrative first and realize that some of these guys ain't just here like they're forcing the JFF to force them to play. They came out and state their own points that they want to come and play. You are the one to go out and get it. So organization comes for mm -hmm. first. And every single thing I've talked about Jamaica, the one thing I've realized, it's some... It has things to do with the players, the local base players are the local overseas base players. They have communication issues. The JFF, they have communication issues. So yeah. I think it has nothing to do with no one else. It just has to do with, with the people and you're actually trying to protect Tia. Simple. That's what it has to do. And tell them to work on their communication skills. Simple. It's nothing to hide, man. It's the, it's the actual truth. But um, I guess people will eat all they want, but it's just the truth. You have to fix things in order to get the best result, man. And accept when you're in a bad position. Oh, you're going to know if you're in a bad position if you don't accept it military? You, you can't know. You don't accept it, so you will never know. <laughs> you will yeah, never man. know. Um, so Jamal is actually leading this, this striker line for um for Swans today. Now, I think that will be a very, very good game. Jamal Lowe, all right, all right. Patrick all right. Riley said yeah, I thought you were going to Patrick live Riley said, said, um, <laughs> no, I, I'm I, that would be an extra two on, on, on me. No, I'm I won't live stream it, I'll just cover it when it when it's over, like I'm um, do a video on it or something like that. And then, no, uh, because I still have a, another live stream later on the Arsenal live stream that I have to do, and that hopefully it's the last one for now. And we'll see how that one goes. Oh, I'm so way back in the chat, um, so. I'm um, system like what you guys are talking about takes time to build. We could build it with uh, Theodore investing in you know how. You know who knows what we could build. Who knows who what we build. All right. So but, um, um, Theodore more himself said he actually had a three-year plan. Three-year plan. Yeah. Building a squad for three years now. So, um... <laughs> Be honest, that some of that these, shouldn't be these, that should be talking about no. Some of these UK players better just stay where they are, yeah, man. Because you have people thinking just like Tio Nero in inside the JFF as well. So that, that, if, that, if they that, actually that, know that, what's good for them, they just stay about their business, man. Believe mm -hmm. me, man. Believe me, man. It's it's sad, man. It's sad. Believe me, it's sad and depressing. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Sad. Patrick man. Riley said, um. Sell players don't cut it, bro. Keep telling people that I live in the states, um, in the start who could get it to go watch. Oh, in the states, who could get to go and watch USL? Come on, okay. so because you, you, you're able to watch it, you know exactly the quality that they have to offer. Yeah, um, but... bro, and um, they are just lucky to be born in England. Imagine if some of these of those players were born in Jamaica, would they still get the same shot? Remember, Leon Bailey was born in Jamaica. <laughs> and because of his talent, oh his my talent, god, because of his talent, a lot of these players, um, a lot of these players that are overseas playing right now is because of their talent. Oh my god, his talent, I think, military, I, I, anything in yeah. life, if you have talent. I left Jamaica and came to Belgium and became successful mm -hmm. because of what I worked hard to achieve. If you don't mm -hmm. work hard for nothing, you better have a president father or a billionaire father for him to pay for that success. But once you have the talent, you have the dedication to do what you have to do, mm -hmm. you will get the success. So, well, um, as according to Tianero, well, the players need to have the same drive that you have. Don't tell mm -hmm. people that um, Bailey got lucky. Bailey got no lucky. Bailey it's tried to work hard for it. And that, that's actually decreasing the guy's success. You get me? Believe me, 
those things that you're saying because you want to be um a pure righteous jamaican Patriot. person oh my god you're just disrespecting the guy with that same statement but um someday along the way yeah. you will realize what you're trying to do um jero said look at craig butler and leon bailey funny how no one in jamaica praises butler replicate him here and you're still um, back in American system is way more developed than ours, so guys get more opportunities if they are at the same level, skill level as our guys. Listen, how much Jamaican players get the opportunity to go overseas, and when they go overseas, they end up right back in Jamaica? Mentality, <laughs> Theo, wow, mentality. <laughs> mentality. Tia, just stop, just stop it, bro. Peter. Just stop it, bro. I'm telling you, stop it, Tia. You're, you're convincing other people. Um, what you're saying is true, but I'm telling you, luck. First, for, furthermore, I don't even believe in luck. You know why? Because I think mm -hmm. you have to work for something. I have never seen a man be mm -hmm. became a billionaire without winning the lottery, lottery and stand up the same place he is. Like, just don't do anything military and earn mm -hmm. that billion dollar. That never happened no, in the world. You have to get up and work for that shit. Yes, he sorry, still my went language. Out and buy, he still went out and buy and buy the, 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 the lottery ticket. He still went out and buy the lot of tickets. All right. All right. So, but I'm just trying to say, if you don't <laughs> work for something, don't come and tell me that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay still. Um, Abendigo said even the Suriname players are playing at a higher level than the USL players because most of the Suriname players are playing um in in, in actually in 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 not in Netherlands. Uh, Patrick Riley said Blake is always against the UK players. Um, this mentality is sickening. <laughs> Um, Theo said, I'm not saying bring don't bring the English based players, bring the one to play for us and stop chasing the ones that are not sure. But we still should knock on players, we should give them the listen to what I'm saying, Theo. Give them the support, the English based player support. Um, he was talking about going to beat them, hell of a passage, not going to beat them football. Um, not going to beat them football is what they say 70% mentality and the rest is physical. Nobody is saying that we can get it done without the English based players. We welcome them, but we are saying don't have the defeat defeatist mentality before a ball has been. All right, so this is what this is what we're trying to say in here. I understand what you're coming from. No, in the world of um from in the world of football, um, it is not easy to to, to look at a player that is playing in the in the let's let's say playing in the, in Colombia, in a Colombian league, like third tier division Colombian league. And that team is going to play against Barcelona. Do you think that that team is going to be um, so heavily hyped up that their players are going to defeat Barcelona? No, they are not. They are going to say, um, we're, we're happy for the opportunity to play against a Barcelona. Because when you look at Barcelona's team, you would see the likes of Lionel Messi, um, um, Sergio Busquets, um, Jordi Alba. Come on. Come it's, on. It's simple. Military you simple. class easily. It's simple military. Look at it then. Simple. Remember the guy that came on the channel? Oh, that's why I respect um United States um vloggers because even when the team is not good, they talk highly about it. That's what Nero wanted to do. Just keep on overpraising okay. people. And then when they do feel, then we get this the stick. But remember, you have a thing called okay. betting up, you have predictions. We are just YouTubers and, and we like the country and we like football. So if we, we see the better players, why should we come out and tell a lie? So we don't have a defeatist mentality. We have actually a reality zone that we think in. And we just come out telling the people because we are people that looks up to us and want we to come mm -hmm. and give us give them the best facts possible. And we try to assess mm -hmm. that based on the qualities of the, the people. So we can't do anything else. I guess that... Um, I, I guess it is what it is, you know. Yeah, only factual assessment can actually identify the level that you are at. Only factual assessment, and how you get a factual assessment. So, for example, like you would already use. So, we're leading our line. We have um, uh, let me show you like this now. So, we have the pool. This is our pool. We have the likes of uh, Mikel Antonio, Johnson Clark, Aris, Tony. <clears throat> Combine three players together, the amount of goals they scored this season. We're looking at a hundred plus goals. We're looking at possibly a hundred plus goals. Three players, these three players scored this season. A hundred plus goals. Now, let's combine the, the shortlist that we have right now. 
I'm Shaman Nicholson, Javon East. Um, we are using the, the most notable players? Not I won't use Andre Green because Andre Green is off the local um branch. So Shaman Nicholson, Javon East. Um, let me see who else. Um, Corey Burke. I think those are the guys. Mm -hmm. I don't think you add all of their their goals together. You you reach twenty goals. Add all of their goals together. You don't reach twenty goals. I know you're going to say that we should not listen football. Why do you think clubs went out and chased players? <coughs> because we are a nation. We should not go for a player. Every nation, every single nation, right now. Do you know the friction between um France and Spain for Ruben Dias? Okay. Do you know the <laughs> friction because both countries were chasing the player? Both countries were chasing the player. Why did Spain chase Ruben Dias? Because he's doing well in Europe. The, 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 the Spanish national, the Spanish nationals chase, and if Spain is chasing players, who is we? Who is not even on the FIFA top? top we're, we're 50 um, part of court in FIFA ranking. Who is us to say we, we're chasing the players? If we want to get better, we have to go there and get the players. Um, Theo Anderson, oh, Jeremy Sobe said, Theo Anderson, that we have we haven't made the World Cup since 1998. You know the meaning of um craziness is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different rich local players, and it led us to nowhere. We have been doing this 1998 until now. It's, it's over 20 years. And Japan what, made what, their first. Let me what, 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 let me finish this. Yeah, Japan yeah, made first um appearance in. 1998 alongside the reggae boys since then japan appeared in every single world cup where's the, what did the reggae boys do what did the reggae boys do because we are using a friendship man we are using friends and who is my friend over there and my friend there and he's the best person because he's my friend let's nominate my friend japan is using the best players right across the board the the the, the, the young lad named um kubo um um Tak. Tafisco Kubo, um, that plays for Real Madrid, that is on loan to Etafe. The <clears> moment he, he gets his, his big exposure, Japan pulls him in right away without a doubt. What were you saying, bro? No, no, no. I, I was actually supporting what you're saying. Um, it it, it okay. just goes to show. Okay. So, and you should just ask still near, near how old he, he is. You understand me? And um, then maybe I don't need mm -hmm. to argue anymore because maybe you're digging up some some facts and you don't have no no some stats and you don't have um, the necessary adjustments around it to realize what it what it means you know and they are throwing up mm -hmm. on the screen to believe that you know exactly what's going on but believe me sometimes you don't and you will send it the wrong information to someone that don't have the education. Are the know how to dissect mm -hmm. what you're saying and take it as gospel <laughs> because as you can realize a lot of people have limited education but they are good at manipulating people you get me so you have mm -hmm. to just be careful of what you put out in the ethos um with with people that um will grab it will suck up everything that you're saying so you have to be, be careful mm -hmm. my brother research what you're saying first before you come and show it on the screen and then we are here talking about it all right give others a okay. opportunity to speak um, now it's time to come out of that fantasy and to, and, and to reality. Even our local players understand we can't make it without overseas players. Of course, they did say it. Um, Daniel, sorry, bro, um, sorry I'm late. Um, what's the topic right now? Uh, we're just discussing the, the pool, um, not only the pool, the strikers, and uh, what we want to do moving forward. Um, I watched an old interview where Tapa Whitmore says he wants local players plus overseas players. Um, Theo said, bro, Brazil, um, the greatest na um, national team, okay, on the planet. What do they do? They look to Portugal to get their players. No, they do own players. They might get a few players from Spain and Portugal. And Portugal. No, I want to ask you a question, um, Theo. Look at all the world class Brazil players. Where are where are they playing? If they're not playing for Real Madrid, they're playing for Barcelona, and they're playing in the English Premier League. That's what I'm talking about. So I don't know what you're what you're saying about that. Um, Brazil have a very very good league um, down there. You should know that Brazil have a top league down there. I think their first and second tier division are top top leagues that all 
all clubs worldwide, all big clubs um, worldwide do their scouting in those in the first and second tier team. And when you should look look at it, when last is Brazil team and, and most and most of the Brazil players on the team are of of, of, the, of players in their in their in their in their club um, in their in their own league. Oh, on the topic of oh, I'm so far back. On the topic of strikers, um, are we talking about players available with passports? Sorry, no, we're talking about players that were called up. Um, Daniel said Dingor, I think, is more favorable towards finding the best overseas talent because he has a proper, he does proper recruiting, and he listens to proper insights. Um, Tapo is more of a developing coach. He likes to develop local players to get them professionally. But which one, which which players as he develop right now actually playing at top tier level? You can't say the the one player that we that's come that comes from Jamaica that is playing at a top tier level right now. It's actually a Leon Bailey, and it's not mm -hmm. Tapa Whitmore didn't develop him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we almost even lost Bailey. We almost even lost Bailey. I'm right. still the dream you're thinking of. The dream no, you're I, thinking I, of. I, I would that. You, 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 near, you nearly lost him, uh, Military Guna, due to the same mm -hmm. things that we're talking about the cultural problems. That's what, That was the reason why he didn't want to play. I, he was actually questioning <laughs> things. Yeah. It, okay. And when Ryan Sterling said that um, there is no development, you know, Ryan Sterling development, um, Theo, the dream that you're, you're thinking of would require a total overall of um, Jamaican football and good investment in technical and educational aspect of our football. Our system up to the JLP um, is broken, woke up. Exactly. Thank you for that. I know Theo Nero is actually in Jamaica to really know what is actually happening inside of Jamaica when he speaks about <laughs> local talent. See you, you have no clue. I'm I'm here and I, I, I have spoken to so much people. Yeah, yeah. It is a thief, man. Oh. Ooh, I'm so far back. Yeah, it does run through all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um then you said, oh Tion, everyone is back in Theon, you know. Um, Theo Nero and guy like these live in pep dreams, live in pep dreams. We can't do nothing with these players. I, um, if I call it as it like, if 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 it is if you play us for more than two seasons, you you're not good. Um, so stop talk crap. Patrick Riley said, three years, bro. You let me oh bring up that comment. I didn't. Three years, bro. <laughs> You've been building what they. I, I don't see. Is it, I don't see it. Um, there is no progress. Enlightened, enlightened, mm -hmm. guys. Um, if, I'm if, if what there were trying to do, if there were progression mm -hmm. uh, military, that means they wouldn't need to add any other UK players to the pool. They could have just fielded everyone that they had um, amassed in the entire um, bracket of time mm -hmm. that they wanted to to fit everyone in. I know it would have been gelling process. Right. Mm -hmm. So clearly they have failed in that um, task. I know they are looking for the UK guys to come in and bail them out. But at the same time, dealing, dealing with the guys, them like they are nobodies. And they should be glad to be here. I think yeah. some, some said, wrong message is sending. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Daniel said, I watched Craig Butler's past training videos of young players. He also co coached Surinamese players as well. Hmm, that's good. I, I didn't know that. But well, I should have known that because the other day when I was watching his team play, I saw a lot. Um, I saw I saw Mexicans, um, I saw players from America. I think I, I think I think see Dutch players as well. He has a very very good academy going. Um, New Sovereign said respect Guna. Um, big up, bro. Um, Lucian Black, Andrek is a great talent and should be in England too. One team, one blood. <laughs> Yes, he needs to um, work, work himself to get there. Mm -hmm. He could have played in in, in Europe top uh, top five leagues, but yeah, but uh, um, military uh, decisions. We, we, we war every single week about that. If he mm -hmm. could have, he could have because he's he old now. You should have done it. Yeah, it, it makes no sense now. 
I don't believe you can until you do it. Because you know I'm in the world of belief when I say it's done. Mm -hmm. You understand? But, so I'm uh, seeing is believing in until, until, Yes, he can't until I saw I see him there. Just stop finding excuse. Mm -hmm. First, I heard people talking about it's because Jamaica was outside the top 50. That rule is just for mm -hmm. England only. I've researched it. What happened mm -hmm. to Spain? England ain't having the biggest the, the best league for the longest time. So don't use that as excuse. You realize what I've said before. Mm -hmm. People always use an ex excuse to bank on their excuse because they're supporting a <laughs> narrative. Simple. Yeah. Everyone knows that I'm right. You're not good enough to make none of the leagues them until you go there. So it, it, that's no, just the, that's just the he, real truth. If he was I look at it now. Um Joe Linton. I play him Joe Linton. Not Joe Linton. Um Ooh, I can't remember his name. He plays for uh, Newcastle. He was playing in the MLS. Very, very quick player. Mm -hmm, he has mm -hmm. a little, yeah, a little um, alien look. <laughs> I can't remember his name. But quick, quick player, a winger, left-footed. He was in the MLS and he stand out that year, and then yeah. he got picked. And then he got picked. Thank that's, you very that's much. So easy. No, but someone will blame um, me. He's from a different country. That's why. Okay. 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 <laughs> Excuse will help me. I'm telling you. Just look. Just so, look. so 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 when, when um a, a, a club like uh, Manchester City go and scout a player in 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 Africa in some bush league and pick up a player or, or pick up a player like Kante who was actually um not a professional footballer mm -hmm. was not a professional footballer he, he wasn't in any academy and they picked yeah. him up and, and groom him to a, a world class player. Because yeah, of attitude, yeah. but it's, well, yeah. if if it's down to scouting, I can say I can see scouts. If 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 it was that you have talent, talented players in the country, but you stand out so that when scouts see you, they said we must get this player. And I can tell you, I don't think FIFA ranking will actually affect affect it. I think maybe like right. documents, and then what they would do. This is what they do. This is what they could they, they do. So for example, when it applied to England. They, they 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 send the player to a different club in Europe. Simple first. and loan that, temporary. That, if you are then, good enough, you and, get and it. And then do a temporary loan. And then so do a temporary we, loan. So they get the we, we, are, we are covering <laughs> Europe games. We can't let people that watch the, the MLS come and convince <laughs> us. Because the same yeah, thing that they're they talking about, we watched it every week. We covered it. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So it's just lie. Yeah. The guy never get any call. He never get any call to go anywhere because if he was good enough, they would break the bank to get him there. That's just mm -hmm. reality. If you're if you're good enough, you see him bolt. They send. I mm -hmm. saw you see him bolt getting how much thousands of euros just to visit because he's good enough. <laughs> You understand me? Yeah. You don't hear he has passport issue or nothing because reality is reality. You get me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's just the, the truth, bro, man. People will eat it all they want, but reality is reality. Mm hmm True. Um, can have a talented and platform. Billy got the perfect father, Craig, Craig Butler, with a decent development system. So he went on trial. He was already developed to not only impress. Um, so you're um, using the narrative about um, opportunities. You're using that as, as a narrative statement. Yeah. Um, no, okay. but we're talking at two different levels, right? It's levels to, to this. But I'm not sure nobody goes into a game thinking, oh, I'm going to lose. No, you guys give you 100%. Yeah, they might be. I've, listen, but we, let's, uh, let's, let's be mm -hmm. factual. Let's be, let, 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 let me be factual to you. From my art as a Jamaican, I would want us to win. But being factual and logic, I doubt we will win. What, what I want to see performance from team, from the team, and all from the manager. I want to see system. I want to see style of play. Those are things that I'm looking for. If we get beat like 3-1, 2-1, and I see um, the, um, the manager trying to implement a style of play, trying to implement a system, and work around certain certain minor issues that we have, then I'll say, okay, that's a beating that we learn something and we try to implement our style of play on them. And we can say we fall, we fail here and we can get better based off where we, we fall um, short. Simple as that. Um... Ooh. I'm so far back. 
Yeah, just skip some and just try Karim, to Ka Karim Gantz. Karim Grant said, um, Diego, um, Brazil chase Diego Costa. Um, Shamar Shoot said, um, Peter Liversel have to prove himself to get back into this squad. I, I, how is his name being called? I'm surprised his name is being called. Um, Diego Costa is Brazilian, so Spain is chasing him. Exactly. Look at Look how, many, look how many nations. So when we go as, as a small nation to chase top quality players right across the board, that is us being professional and seeking the best talent for our, for our country. Uh, military, we are in the same profession as Jamaicans. I see a lot of um, my country coming here with that. Um, I have the best attitude. Um, the, oh, the best attitude don't work, bro. Um, with, with that, um, let me read. Am I reading this wrong? Military, we are in this profession. And as jo a Jamaican, I see a lot of my country men come here with that mentality. Yes, the um, best, I, I don't the best men, the, the, No, the best of the best. Acting like you're the best without actually producing nothing. That's what he's trying okay. to say. Okay. Yeah, but maybe he missed, okay, okay. A few, or missed, missed a few words. But that's what he's trying to say, you know? Yeah. Type to stop, because when I'm typing... It, yeah. When I'm typing with my phone, now, this I, my iPhone decided that they want to give yes, him, yes. um whatever but, it feels. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's just the truth, man. That's what. Believe me, mm -hmm. man. It can solve a diff. The way you approach things can solve. It, it can work magic. You mm -hmm. people talking about luck? Well, the way you approach things might mm -hmm. just be the luck that you actually need in life. Believe me, mm -hmm. the way you approach things, simple as that, bro. I'm going to um, Peter leave I'm, us um just overhype. Okay. Um in 1998, um of the 22 man squad that went to France, 15 were Jamaican born players, the others were British. Um, what's the, the big deal at this time? Quality and all the rest of the nations in in the, the CONCACAF region are increasing in quality increasing quality so right we don't have the best team in CONCACAF are we obligated to, 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 to win the World Cup the CONCACAF tournaments are we obligated to walk into the World Cup qualifiers and walk into World Cup no because we, we don't even have the best team in CONCACAF um, but players that plays in the Brazilian league if you build up a team of Brazilian players played in the Syria um, Syria, they could qualify out of CONCACAF easily. That's going to show the quality that we have here. That is the reason why we want to get the influx of those players playing in Europe. <coughs> um, Heard Porter said they are looking after our documents. Well, when Killer Taylor Art come out himself, and we still, we still have him from Anton, who is actually official. I'm just surprised now. Slow we move to our things. Um, reggae boys have to tackle the problem from the top and the bottom. We need to attract better players. Um, make the world cup, make the world cup, make money to fund development. Do that, and academies and professional contracts will follow. Um, let's get Kido Taylor Hart, Reese Nelson, and Amy Smith Rowe, and our future bright. <laughs> no, not bad. Then he said, Tia just loves to talk crap. <laughs> yep. But yeah, Craig, Craig Butler is the truth. Craig Butler is the truth if Jamaica needs um, to succeed. They need to hire him. But Craig Butler is the only one with, um, with, 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 with a facet of idea. The, the, there's a lot of play, people out there with, with, with the great ideas as well. It's just that um, the friend idea, the friend ideology that Jamaica has is headed over what we are doing. So that's where we're, we're struggling. Um, these big leagues, Jamaica League, don't exist. Our league is garbage. One or two good players come through, and we don't know how to develop young, young talent. No young talent at all. We never did the name one um, that for DV or Levy. Um, did you guys know a lot of amateur Dutch players played in the USL and, and even in the MLS? Yeah, but they can't get a, a look into the Dutch team. Levan Smith said, They're freezing a little bit, um, military. Okay, sorry. Oh, I didn't realize. 
Um, Jamaican players have um, better, t- have great talent. Um, they just need better management and better people behind them to push them to their potential. Leon Bailey yeah, and cre- had cred- done. But Leon Bailey had the talent. You are just looking past Leon Bailey. Why are you looking past Leon Bailey talent to fulfill your narrative? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you a long time, man. Even him just realizing that he's pushing a narrative. Even him writing the text just yeah. realized he's pushing a mm-hmm. narrative. And I've said it to him a while back. I don't, I'm not even wasting my time arguing with you right now. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, <laughs> because Leon Bell Leon Bell was a really a talented guy, which means that even now, despite he got a bit of um extra push, no, it's his talent is still old shining, is shining in Europe. Yep, which yep. means that are you already saying that the other players that in Europe didn't get um didn't get the push as well? They are struggling. No, they got the push as well. But because of his talent, that is the reason why he's shining right now. You have to respect his talent. We need to go hard to make the World Cup because we have failed with whom we think is all that. You need to tell near Theo Nero that. Um, people were in the one hour uh, one thirty minutes mark. I think that is it for me. Guys, please, I didn't even remember. Guys, if you're new here, just hit the like button and also subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and uh, smash the like button. Join the military squad. Um, a big difference, as I said. Check it out. Check out it for yourself. Go and research it, people. Go and research it. Jamaica and, and Japan made an appearance in the 90th World Cup for the first. The two nations for the first. Go and check it out. What Japan has been doing since then. How many appearances Japan have in the World Cup since then and how many did um, um, Jamaica had since then. Go and check it for yourself, people. Don't take me, don't take my word for it. Go and research it for yourself. And if I'm lying, put it in the comment section. If I am lying, that is all we replicate. And that is what, what we should replicate. Um, big up people, thank you, JD, for coming on. A lot of respect. Guys, military guna TV. Um, thank you for coming in. Oh, and the comment section still moving.